Hello everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I am Donnie Reed, and today I'm going to tell you all about the Element Titan that I put on my own FX Impact. The Element Optics line of scopes have been out for some time now, and you don't need me to tell you that they're good scopes and have been very successful. We've had them in stock here at Baker Air Guns for some time, and we've sold a bunch of them. And rightly so. It's taken quite a bit of thought on my part on how to approach reviewing these scopes, how to tell you about these scopes, because there are so many of them. There are both Milrad and MOA types of angular measurement available. There are clean reticles, there are dirty reticles. They have the Helix line, the Titan line, and the Nexus line. It's just a dizzying array of options, and there's something to suit any shooter. But how do I do this? Do I do a review of every scope? So I decided that I will start with the one that I chose for my own hunting gun. Now what I chose specifically is obviously the Element Titan with the APR1D reticle. There are many reasons I chose this, but the gist of it is it suits me and how I shoot, how I hunt the best. First of all, the basic features of the Titan are astounding for its roughly $800 price tag. This is a first focal plane scope with ED glass. That ED glass is a big deal. ED stands for extra low dispersion. And what that means to you is a reduction in chromatic aberration. And you might be saying, what is chromatic aberration? And even if you don't know the term, you probably know what it is. If you've ever looked through an optical system, a telescope, binoculars, a rifle scope, a spotting scope, whatever it might be, and you looked at something light in color, typically at higher magnifications, you might have noticed a colorful fringe around that object. And it could be any color of the rainbow, but say a purple fringe or a green fringe. That is chromatic aberration. Not only is it unsightly, but it's far less than ideal in an optical system. Not to get too deep into the physics behind it, but the reason you see that is because not all of the wavelengths or colors of light focus at the same focal point. Therefore, you can see a colorful fringe around objects. Again, less than ideal. If you can get rid of that, you want to. ED glass helps in that endeavor. And according to Element Optics, there is ED glass in this Titan. That's normally something found on scopes north of $1,000. The Titan also has a huge 34 millimeter main tube. That big tube combined with the 56 millimeter objective lens and the fully multi-coated lenses means that you will get an ultra bright image when you look through the Titan. Another benefit of the very large main tube is that you will get a ton of erector tube traverse. You will get a great amount of adjustment with your turrets in both the windage and elevation directions. How much will you get? 80 minutes of angle or 23.2 milrad. That's a ton, that's a ton of adjustment. And with this scope set on my impact in some UTG Pro rings that are not adjustable, they don't add any MOA to the riser or anything like that, I can switch from my roughly 30 to 40 yard typical zero and I can dial in to 100 dead nuts point blank. That's wonderful. Now I specifically chose the APR1D reticle because of how I hunt. First of all, it's a fully illuminated reticle, which is critical for me on my hunting rigs. I have to have an illuminated reticle. I do a lot of low light and no light hunting for pests and whatnot. 
The APR part of the designation stands for all purpose reticle. And I'm fairly certain that the C refers to a clean reticle and the D refers to a dirty reticle. Now what's a clean reticle? What's a dirty reticle? Basically clean is less clutter, dirty is more clutter. And by clutter, I mean that the dirty reticles have windage graduations where the clean reticles do not. Some people call the dirty a busy reticle, but I believe that's the difference between the C and the D models of these scopes. Now I use holdover when I'm hunting rather than dialing and that's why the dirty reticle is better for me. I can hold off both for mills for elevation as well as mills or whatever fraction of a mill for windage at the same time there's a distinct place to aim and that is better for me than the clean reticle. Now if you're dialer like I said the clean reticle might be more to your liking oh and you might say that those windage graduations in the dirty reticle make your winding hold a breeze <laughs> a breeze get it now the fact that it's a first focal plane scope means that my dope chart my hold offs do not change if I change magnification when I'm hunting, I'm constantly changing my magnification. So to have my holdovers stay the same regardless of where I'm at on my magnification is critical for the way that I hunt. Now there is also the EHR reticles available, again in both a clean and dirty version. And the EHR stands for expedited hold reticle. Now despite the fact that I don't typically dial my hunting guns, the Titan is very much made to do that. First of all, the internals here are stainless steel. They're gonna be very resistant to wear and it's gonna track true. Also, if you remove this knurled cap on the top turret, the elevation turret, you just pull straight up on the turret itself and you will expose the mechanical zero stop, which is fully adjustable using a wrench that comes in the box with the scope. Again, this is a feature usually found on scopes north of $1,000. The turrets are intuitively marked as well. If you're a dialer, the Titan will serve you well. The parallax adjustment, which is a side wheel, is adjustable from 15 yards to infinity. In the box, you will find the scope, an owner's manual, both flip-up style covers and bikini covers, a four inch sunshade, a lens cloth, some wrenches, and a removable throw lever for the magnification, something that I really like. What also comes with this scope, though not in the box, is the Element Platinum Lifetime Warranty. This warranty is transferable and does not require a receipt or proof of purchase to make a claim. If at any time something goes wrong with the scope, whether you were the original purchaser or not, you send it to Element and they will repair or replace it. You cannot get a better warranty than that. Now I've tried to be as unbiased as possible in this review, even though I have this scope on my own gun, and just deliver the facts as plainly as I could. Having said that, I really do like this Titan. I chose the version best suited to me and my preferences and my needs. If your needs are different, there is definitely something in the Titan line to suit you. And I haven't even touched upon the Helix or the Nexus to give you even more options. Naturally, a review of those will be coming soon as well. Now I do have one gripe about the Titan and that's that it doesn't come with a larger side wheel. As somebody who shoots field target, I like to be able to use my scope to both range and aim. I also can't find a side wheel for the Titan easily available. You can, however, have one custom made from several sources. But that's not the fault of the scope. It doesn't take anything away from the scope. I just wish that it came with one. If you like what you see here, we do have the Element line in stock right now at Baker Air Guns. I thank you all for watching and you all stay tuned, stay safe, and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.